Hey everybody, Sleeve in Wilmington, Delaware for this supermarket checkout. And before we get this party started, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, and comment below. Let me know you have subscribed. Again, we're in Wilmington, Delaware. This is a giant Landover and the first giant Landover, non-Super G, to make it onto the Sleeve Did It channel. And the reason we're coming to this store, the to tour, is, well... <sighs> You know that Giant Carlisle has that bland gray remodel. And uh, there's a similar bland remodel over at uh, Stop and Shop. Well, you didn't think the Giant Landover was going to be left out, now did you? That's right, we're going to walk in here and we're going to see the latest decor package Giant Landover's adaptation of the Bland Gray remodel. The only color is the purple on the signs here. But as soon as you walk in, it becomes a wash in gray pride. See what I did there? <laughs> I had to grab a uh, basket. And I couldn't help but notice how the... Uh, three-sided aisle markers uh, looked similar to the ones you'd find at a uh, EFA Food Lion, given that they're now the same company. And the department signage, as you can see here, such as the uh, pharmacy and in other departments, is basically black letters suspended in front of a uh, white background. And this is a recent remodel. I don't know if you can notice it, but but pay close attention to that second O in the word food. Notice it's uh, kind of crooked. And that's a new remodel, folks. But I digress. Otherwise, uh, the store seemed pretty clean. And... Uh, Seemed like it was well laid out, but again, I'm sorry, the color, gray, ugh. Well, I'm going to just uh, hit the boys' room real quick, and, uh, well, go back to doing a little shopping here. So far, I haven't really noticed anything exciting. Okay, the pictures are colorful, but that's about all the color there is in this store. I have to say that this is about as bad as the giant Carlisle Boring Gray remodel. If, uh, if I had to pick which of these two remodels I do not like, I'd say yes. <laughs> Stop and Shop has managed to add some more color and make it look not as bad but it's still bad honestly i'd like to see some more color and uh, it's kind of plain with just the uh, white tile a little bit of color would have helped uh, immensely here now we're coming to uh, the uh, Grand section where you have meat and seafood, deli, bakery, and produce all in one. And I grabbed some uh, chocolate-covered craisins. Uh, Those are the white chocolate ones. Okay. But anyhow, um, looks like the flooring is left over from a previous remodel. But again, this uh, gray really does not help anything. I have to say they ought to go back to the drawing board. It really loses something here. It kind of seems uh, kind of cold and uninviting. And I went and got some pistachios too while I was at it. The already shelled ones, so I don't have to uh, um, uh, hurt myself trying to you know un you know free them from those uh, shells. They're like almost like steel traps. I'm sorry, that floral sign looks like it belongs more in a prison. It does not you know, look that inviting. Actually, again, um, folks, I think that color 
would have really uh, rescued this uh, design, this decor package. And I got some frappuccino because I needed some coffee. It was this is my uh, I think my second or first stop of the day? I forget which. But anyway, time for me to ring up my purchases and be on my merry way. And as we're leaving, we see the former PNC branch. It now looks like it's uh, storage for the floral department. And uh, this will do it for my tour of the uh, giant Landover here in Wilmington. You can like, share, subscribe, comment, ring the bell. And I will see you on the next video. Bye for now. I can't believe I got in this place.